Now, I am a big Seinfeld fan. Is that just fan. too much info? That's not too much info. I'm a big... <laughs> if you go on YouTube, I did the most in-depth interview in the history of interviews with the Soup Nazis. So if I can talk Seinfeld with anybody, I'll talk Seinfeld for hours. Okay. Now, I remember watching the DVD of Seinfeld with the commentary on, yeah. and Daniel O'Keefe actually provided the commentary for that particular episode. And you could tell that he was doing it almost reluctantly. I think that deep down ingrained in him, he still cringes at the thought of the word Festivus because it was such an embarrassment to him in his upbringing growing up. I'm not so sure. I th- that could be the truth because that's also how George Costanza is portrayed on the show as sort of hating it. It's also, I think, the case that Dan O'Keefe is a bit of a, of a jerk, which I think you can see on that thing. And I, he also, if you watch that DVD, he used way too much gel in his hair. I had not noticed. So what's been your relationship with the man who wrote the Festivus episode, Dan O'Keefe, as you just called him a jerk? Well, basically, I what happened was I was um, spending some time in uh, Ohio, and my then-girlfriend told me she was going to a party, a Festivus party. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about from Seinfeld? And then it, you know, two days later, I realized this could be an article uh, for the newspaper because I was writing pieces for the New York Times. And so I wrote a piece for the Times, which was about how people in the real world all over the country were celebrating Festivus based on the rituals they had learned from Seinfeld. At that time, uh, the elder Daniel O'Keefe, um, I got on the phone to do an interview, um, and I also had some contact with Dan O'Keefe. And they gave me, you know, nice little interviews, and they were, you know, a little reluctant and a little weird about it, but they did it. Um, the article was so popular, you know, the most emailed on the New York Times, that I decided this was worth a little book, a quick, uh, funny book that I could do about sort of chronicling the rituals in the real world. When I contacted Dan O'Keefe, the, the younger, um, he basically responded with nothing but hostility. Um, I got a letter from a lawyer telling me that, you know, something about, you know, they own the rights to the word, which of course they don't because you can't own a title and it's an ancient Latin word, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and the next thing I knew, you know, my book sold quite well, but there was this rival book that came out exactly the same time as mine from him that probably took, you know, a good third of my sales away because people got confused on Amazon about which book was good and which book was crap. So did they know that you were interviewing them with the idea of one day writing a book or at the time you were just looking to do the article for the Times? It's a good question. Um, and uh, probably, to be totally honest, they probably only thought they were speaking to me for the, for the uh, newspaper article. But the article you know, just... I called the, the reason I called it, you're really getting into the controversy here. The reason I called Dan was to suggest that we work together because I, you know, I figured I had all this interest and we could put out a really good book together. And honestly, I hope someday that there can be a reapprochement between me and the O'Keefe's. And the truth of the matter is, we had actually done some searching to reach out to him and have him on the program, but we simply just could not find his contact. No, but so. he's not easy to find. You know, I have a website, festivusbook.com. It's easy to find me. I'm all over the Internet. You know, I'm a, I'm a journalist. I'm happy to do interviews. And he he has given a couple interviews over the years about it. There was one on CNN probably five years ago, and he did the DVD commentary, which I wish they had called me about, too. But... Um, yeah, he's hard to reach. He's, you know, as far as I know, Dan is a very successful uh, screenwriter and scriptwriter, TV writer in L.A. 